All right, let's try to sum up what's going on with this submarine that no one will shut the fuck up about. So who actually are the five people missing in the submarine? First, we have the CEO, founder, and operator of Ocean Gate Expeditions, Stockton Rush. Next, we have Hamish Harding, a British billionaire and businessman. He's also a pilot and an explorer. He's been to space and holds the world record for being at the lowest depth of the ocean in a crude ship. Famous French diver Paul-Henri Narjolette. Pakistani businessman Shahzadah Dawood and his 19-year-old son, Sulman. So these five men got into a submarine called the Titan on Sunday, June 18th, 2023. This was a tourist sub, and they were going down to look at the Titanic, which as we all know sank to the bottom of the ocean over 100 years ago. So this sub was run by Ocean Gate Expeditions, which is an independent company founded and owned by Stockton Rush. Stockton comes from a wealthy, prominent family. He graduated college with an aerospace and aeronautical engineering degree and began his career as a pilot. But he grew to love building submarines and adventuring, so he later combined these hobbies into underwater tourism. One thing that's also worth mentioning here is that Stockton's wife, Wendy Rush, is a descendant of first-class passengers of the Titanic who were were able to make it to safety. So what exactly is the deal with these Ocean Gate expedition tours? People pay $250,000 per seat on the sub for an eight-day package to go down and visit the Titanic. Now, the Titanic visit itself is only about eight hours, so I assume the rest of the week is like the cruise to and from the diving area. Now, the sub itself is only about 22 feet long, but it's supposed to be able to travel to depths of two and a half miles, and it travels at about three and a half miles per hour. So this is the equivalent of having five people in a very small travel trailer or a minivan underwater. Now, all of these people on board are hella rich, and some of them do know the ocean very well, like the diver Paul Henri, who has done over 30 dives down to the Titanic since the 1980s. And the owners of Ocean Expeditions have done other submarine tours like this in the past. They took director James Cameron who made the movie Titanic on one of these expeditions, and they've taken several other rich people because, I mean, who else could afford something like this? Ocean Expeditions operates from St. John's in Newfoundland, Canada, where they take the tourists onto the Atlantic Ocean in large boats. And when they reach the dive site, that's when they get onto the sub and go down to look at the Titanic wreckage. Once passengers are inside the sub, crew members on the outside have to bolt them in to seal up the sub, making it impossible for anyone inside the submarine to get out without the help of of external crew. So that creates a few issues, like in the situation with these missing people. Even if they have managed to surface, they're still not able to get out of the sub on their own. So they're literally sealed in from the outside and you would have to have assistance to even get out. There's also no escape pod in the sub. The company claims that the sub has state-of-the-art safety and navigation systems, which can give early warning signs to the pilot to safely return to the surface before anything bad happens. And that they worked with NASA engineers while designing this sub but it was never certified and is still considered experimental. This dive down to the Titanic wreckage typically only takes about eight hours, and usually people just bring a packed lunch. So what happened on this last expedition is things have gone wrong, obviously. The five men got into the sub, everything seemed fine, they descent, then an hour and 45 minutes later, they lost all contact with the surface crew. No one can find the sub, and by Thursday morning on June 22nd, they'll only have maybe an hour worth of oxygen left. So time is really of the essence and it is running out. So there's a very pricey search underway to find these missing rich people. The Coast Guard has deployed aircraft to look for the sub. They're also using ROVs, which are remotely controlled underwater vehicles, which cost a ton of money. They're using sonar detection aircraft and buoys, like all of this crazy expensive taxpayer funded equipment. Since Tuesday, the U.S. Coast Guard, U.S. Navy, the Canadian Coast Guard, and the Air National Guard have searched 10,000 square miles looking for the missing submarine. The last update we have in the search is that the sonar equipment has detected unidentified banging noises in the last known area the sub went missing. They heard the banging every 30 minutes on Tuesday night, then after four hours, but they still haven't located the sub. Which I'm willing to bet that that's probably them because in other shipwrecks in the past where people have been found still alive, they would bang on something for the sonar to pick it up. There's also been a little drama involving Ocean Gate expeditions and particularly this sub in the past. In 2018, a former employee 
employee named David Lockridge filed a lawsuit against the company. He was a whistleblower who got fired for going to OSHA. He said that the Titan was carrying passengers 4,000 meters even though the vessel was only built to withstand pressure of 1,300 meters. Others have voiced their complaints since the sub wasn't certified and there could potentially be catastrophic issues with an experimental sub. A lot of people have also noted that Hamish Harding's stepson, Brian Zaz, went to a Blink-182 concert while this search has been going on. And when Brian was asked about it, he said, My family would have wanted me to be here. It might be distasteful, but Blink-182 is my favorite band. Which, I kind of get it, if you've already paid for the tickets, if it were Elton John or the Smashing Pumpkins or Stevie Nicks, like, I'm going. I don't, I don't care who's missing, I'm sorry. So yeah, that's pretty much what we know about the sub and the people who are missing. Have a good day.